this reading is going to be for Libra season. So, yeah, if you haven't already, I'm um, subscribed to my channel and hit the bell button so you know when I post my content. But anyways, um, I feel like I'm kind of doing it late, but at the same time, I'm doing it early, um, depending on whether you go by the regular zodiac calendar or the 13 zodiac calendar that like I go by. So if you do go by the 13 zodiac signs, Libra season isn't technically until Halloween, like the day of Halloween. So yeah, and the 12 zodiac sign, we're like well into Libra season, like damn near Scorpio season. So I'm gonna do this today, put it out and see what the energies are saying for Libra season. Okay. So we have the Hierophant. Oh, it's not. We have the Page of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands. I want to flip over. Okay. So we have the Hierophant, we have the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Wands. So from what I'm getting from this is that there's definitely a new beginning in something, um, possibly like a seed that was planted um, maybe long ago. Or I don't know why I like, got a flash of like something from a past life maybe being fulfilled or something like that. Fulfilling something from a past life for some of you guys. Um, or fulfilling something from a time where you might have felt constrained or um, if you were like more religious and you probably felt like you didn't need to do something. I don't know. I'm just getting you fulfilling something that was a seed, that was only a seed or maybe you picked up on something and you dropped it and you're about to pick it back up again um this time coming at it differently or from like a different angle or something like that or um also what i'm getting from this is like coming at this in in a sense of like like knowing or wisdom so yeah that's what i'm getting from this yeah, meeting people along the path, meeting people along the path. Uh, I feel like there's somebody that you will meet or have met um, along this path towards this new beginning. Um, somebody that's gonna help you with this new beginning that you're actually trying to achieve. That's pretty cool, but it's like, oh my God, I just got this. I, it's, it's, some of you guys might have to do something or that is more to the book if you don't like being to the book. But whatever this is, it'll help you. Whoever this is, it'll help you. Because this material thing 
or this person that you met in your material world will help you with this new beginning that you're trying to fulfill. Oh my goodness, Libra season is on fire. Oh my gosh, yes. That's amazing. So, you know, you got for some of you guys, you just got to do that thing that you don't really want to do. Or you're coming to terms with, oh, I'm doing the thing that I didn't want to do. But I'm meeting people that are helping me to achieve my new beginning your passionate new beginning so yeah let's keep going that's exciting that's really exciting these cards keep flipping over Four of Cups. Wow. Ah. Six of Wands. Goodness. King of Swords. Okay, so we have here the Four of Cups. The Six of Wands and the King of Swords. For some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are not looking at the bigger picture. Um, or if you were not looking at the bigger picture, like you're about to cut that out. You're about to start seeing the bigger picture for some of you guys. But it's like there are things in your life that have been really awesome, really beautiful. And it's like you guys have been very victorious, but it's like you're not celebrating yourselves. That's what I'm getting. Some of you guys are not celebrating yourselves or you're seeing that others are not celebrating you in the way that you would like to be celebrated. And it's like you're seeing who is there and who hasn't been there for you. Um, for some of you guys, you may feel like, <coughs> you may be like a leader in some type of way and it's like people you feel some people are now starting to appreciate you but you already like been cut these people out because they were like distracted with other shit like you just you were just over it and so you were taking your victory elsewhere but it's like for some of you guys you're a bit more like keen on things if that makes any sense just because of the things that you've been through also i feel like for some of you guys like that was like a whole scenario this is another scenario that i'm getting so what i'm getting from this is that some of you guys are not like there's like a bigger picture here that some of you guys are not seeing there's something you guys are not seeing you're not realizing something is beautiful or something is amazing. Or for some of you guys, you guys are bored with the regular shit. You guys are bored with regular shit. You're bored with what other people deem to be cool. You don't think that way. And you're just bored of like having people around you that just like basically follow a trend or follow the masses. <gasps> Oh, fuck. I already channeled this. Okay, if you guys are watching up to this point, um, I channeled this on my Instagram. If you want to follow me on Instagram. And it's so funny because I usually say, oh, follow me on Instagram. Um, or 
Twitter or whatever, and I didn't say that in the be in the beginning, but now I'm saying it because I literally channeled this like about a month ago, uh, almost a month ago. Are you following my trend for Libra season? Um, and I had like a foreshadowing of Halloween, so, ooh, that's, and I like mentioned a movie, Halloween Town. So yeah, if you guys want to see that, um, follow me on Instagram and you can see that. But anyways, that's basically what this is. It's like, you're not doing shit for, to be trendy. Like, you're doing shit because you believe in this shit. And I feel like it, you will attract the right people. You will, your energy is attracting the right people that, you know, believe in what you believe in. If that makes any sense. And the people that don't believe in what you believe in are falling off to the wayside. And you're just bored with it. You're not, you're not dealing with it anymore. Like, you're not about that life. That's what I'm getting from this. It's like, you're not about that life anymore. And I feel like people will, like, come to you and, like, really give you your accolades like the accolades that you've been like looking for for some of you guys and knowing that was was gonna come to you like you already knew that people would be coming to you and this is what's happening in Libra season more people will be coming to you guys I feel like because you're not like the rest you're not like the rest you see things that other people don't see like you get bored with shit that other people are starting to finally realize that they're bored of too. Like I could go on and on, but let's let's keep let's keep pulling these cards. And the Sky King, man, the Sky King does represent Libra, King of Swords. Like universe, thank you. too many cards we have the world oh my gosh I'm like screaming in my head what number is the world? Oh, is it 1010? No, that's something else, right? That's something else. We're going to try this again. Okay. We have the four of wands. Yo, I real I literally thought that I saw the four of wands come out at first, but it came out now. Like one of the ones that like popped up with the other ones. I was like, oh, but it was actually the four of pentacles now that I think about it. Oh my god. And the Empress. Ruled by Libra. Oh my freak. Oh my gosh. Like, okay. That's like two major arcanas too. Okay, so we have the world card. We have the four of wands. And we have the empress. Okay. I'm seeing like two or three different situations here, right? Okay, so first situation, okay. We have the world card. <sighs> this touches my heart so like deeply. I feel like a lot of you guys, if it's like been a circle of just like stagnation, just feeling stuck, feeling like you're in the outside looking in basically, or just like feeling like far away from the world far away from the world like you can't really reach anybody you're not reaching anybody or the place that you're at is just so small or like a, it's like in any situation the place that you're at is so small the house that you're at is so small four of wands 
the um, people, your community, you know, around you, um, friends, like state, city, something. If if you feel like you just like are stuck in this place, or like you're dreaming of something bigger and better, just new horizons. I feel like you're about to embark on this. So for some of you guys, this could mean an actual move. You guys could be moving residence. Some of you guys could be getting married, getting into relationships, um, maybe getting roommates, but new roommates, something like that. But I feel like this is something you've been looking for. This is that gem. This is maybe for some of you guys this could be that person that new person on this journey that you met that helped you this could be the person that's helping you to move into that energy to move into wherever it is that you're trying to go maybe to get a new house or to meet that new person just trying something different the empress this is this is pure womb fire like womb fire womb energy the ace of wands you're creating this ace of wands with this empress energy you're creating with your womb because you are the empress that is how the empress creates with her womb what she nurtures what are you nurturing are you nurturing a cycle that has brought you nowhere or literally brought you nowhere but bored or bored and unfulfilled or are you nurturing something that is new that is helping you exit out of a cycle and i feel like that's what a lot of you guys are doing you are choosing to end the cycle of insanity for some of you guys for some of you guys it's a cycle of insanity Mental health issues. Um, a cycle of getting the same job, getting with the same type of man or woman. You feel me? So it's creating something new for ourselves. It could be. And this person that I, f I really feel like some of us are really going to meet somebody that helps us with this. And if the, some of you guys, if some of you are meeting somebody that is like very into their craft very spiritual um or very like knowledgeable on what they're talking about what they do they might have a bit of insight for you to maybe you know spark that flame for you but yeah that's what i'm getting from this 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 is like beautiful energy this is such beautiful energy and I feel like once you, this, whatever this is that's about to manifest for you, this new beginning for you guys, like, it will be so peaceful. It'll be so peaceful. And the people that you need in your life, like, all of you guys will be on the same page trying to create the same thing. For some of you guys, I'm getting it's a team that you'll be building. A team of people that actually give a fuck about you. 